What is up guys? Welcome on back to the channel and in today's video, Stellantis is actually listening to the needs and wants of its customers. Holy crap. For the longest time. Whoa. What is up guys? Welcome on back to the channel. In today's video we are talking about Stellantis and their, I don't want to say reversal, but you remember it was always a EV first strategy. We're going to do EVs first. We're building these cheap EVs in Poland. We're going to EV every damn thing. And then guess what happened? The people in Europe are tired of these damn EVs. The people here in America realizing, and freedom is everything here, that there is no freedom if you own an electric vehicle. You're not, you're not loading up the family in your electric vehicle in Las Vegas and going, I'm driving to Miami. Can you do it? Yeah, I can do it in the most food stamp of gasoline cars in three days. In an electric vehicle, more like five, six. And that's if your charging infrastructure works the entire way and you don't get stuck on a tow truck. Yeah, facts. But uh, yeah, anyways, we're going to get into some news that is breaking right now from Stellantis. And are they doing a about face? It looks that way. All right, guys, so Stellantis has changed course. I'm going to put this uh, story for you guys right here. And um, this one comes from Reuters. And uh, it basically says that Stellantis is going to expand its hybrid vehicle line to meet growing demand. You mean people in Europe are tired of all of the BS from the electric vehicles uh, and you can't manufacture them? Nobody's buying them. You mean Toyota was right and that hybrids are more valuable to a brand than fully electric vehicles? Shocker. Not that the market hasn't already dictated that for years. But I think Carlos Tavares's arrogance, and, and let me be very clear here. Carlos did not make the decision to do this. I'm very sure that the board said, look here, Kimasabi, you're going to sit down. And you're going to learn real quick that if you like making this $40 million bonuses and all of this, you know, millions upon millions of dollars that you're making that pisses off everybody in France, um, you're going to have to get with the program. And we have to make money. We can't just cut this company up because in two years, the gravy train's over. We got to do something to keep the money coming in. And lo and behold, it's hybrids. Now, more than likely, they're going to do this with fiat. And you're going to see these 500 E's or 500 H, whatever they're going to call it. Um, and you're going to see more and more of these Fiat 500s end up, end, ending up being hybrids. Now, we already have a hybrid from Stellantis here in America. It's called the Dodge Hornet. And it is an absolute friggin' disaster. So with the story that we covered earlier, which you probably saw talking about the head of their software division, uh, quitting or retiring, it does not surprise me that the problems inside of this company continue to get worse. And if they're going to build hybrids, they're going to have to have the same way with electric vehicles. You're going to have to have competent people that are writing the software that make these vehicles work. Is that going to happen? I don't know. We can only look at history, and there's a reason why the Jim Morrisons, the Tim Kaniskises, the, you know, your head of AI development, your head of, of retail sales, your, your head of dealer development, now your head of software, all of these executives are leaving. And I, I go back to what I talked about earlier today, and I think it's because when, these earn, when the earning report drops for the second quarter, here in the next week, two weeks, whatever it's, you know, Ju July 24th, I believe, or is it the 25th that it drops? It's going to be such a ground shaking event for Stellantis when that stock probably gets cut in half that 
you're going to see a lot of people get fired. You're going to see a lot of people leaving the company unwillingly, not with golden parachutes. Is one of those going to be Carlos Tavares? Mm, I don't know. We'll have to wait and see. But uh, I'm here for it. I got my popcorn ready. I'm drinking. I'm drinking my coffee. I'm just sitting here waiting, eating, waiting to see what happens. But I thought this was an interesting story, and it was a funny story for me because I remember when the reporters were asking Tavares about, well, why don't you make more hybrids? And he totally dismissed it and said, oh, hybrids are not the future. It's all about electric. Remember that? I do. So funny is, as Stellantis turns, days of our Stellantis, as it switches over, <laughs> and they're now focusing on hybrids. But that's not going to fix the company when you can't build one anyway. We already see that the one hybrid that you're selling, I mean, I guess you want to call it the Alpha Tonali, you know, another hybrid, but the one uh, hybrid that you're selling in America now between the Tonali and the Dodge Hornet, same vehicle, ain't selling. Nobody wants that crap. It's unreliable. It's trash. The software is an absolute disaster. The cooling system on those are an absolute disaster. Take a page out of Toyota's book. Look how they build the Prius. If you really want to build hybrids, and before you go, oh, the Prius is so slow, TK. Oh, the Prius is dumb. The new Prius is fast. And it's the same hybrid system. And I can't believe to say it. It doesn't suck. Maybe Dodge can learn. Maybe Stellantis can learn something from Toyota. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below. Give this video a big thumbs up if you like what I do. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. And you guys know what it is. Stay petty, my friends.